all right welcome back muchachos we're looking at lunk so lunatics i guess whatever you want to call it if you guys could act like mike tyson and smash the thumbs up that'd be wicked anyway we're looking at the good old lunk 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 um so we actually went through these two smaller boxes so we could look at them and do nothing about it um and <laughs> All right, anyway, um, what you also can see right here is we do have this volume profile. The valley low on it is currently like where we're finding a little bit of resistance at. Uh, if we are like kind of capitulating right now, then we should probably end up going lower uh, into our green box of demand right here, theoretically. Um, otherwise, we did talk about how you could come back down to one of these levels, um, which you have the 609956. Really, the 6099 is where I'd be looking at. Because this matches up with the fib and then matches on our uh, Bitfinex chart, where we do have a gap on the daily time frame. Uh, I think it's between like 65 and 68, so hitting this price point would make sense. Um, if we were to capitulate down and make another low. Uh, but after that, I do think that would be the end of it, and then we do end up. Um, what do you call it? We do end up going. Wow, I really forgot my train of thought. Uh, if we were to capitulate once more, I do think that would be that more so final capitulation. And then you will rally back on up because I do believe the structure that we have right on over here, this like wedge formation is one, 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 one. Um, like pretty valid measure move for us. Gets us all the way up to three zeros, 24 at least as of right now. And well... If we don't, then what we could take notice of is that you do end up breaking structure in the smaller term, I guess you could say. And then from that point on, you end up moving back on up. But as of right now, it doesn't entirely look really too cash money because you are still getting the bearishness coming in. But if we were to make a new high and then maybe come back down, you would then be breaking structure definitely because you made a higher high and you made a higher low. Thus, would, that would give us a little bit more of a bias towards the upside. Yada, yada, yada. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, should you end up coming back down, down? Come on down to South Park and meet some friends of mine. Friendly faces everywhere. Why is this, why is this Fibonacci acting so strange? <laughs> All right, anyway, um... Let's see, does this line up with anything? Uh, I don't like the way it lines up, to be honest, so we're just going to get rid of it. So, I guess that's really going to be about it. Uh, unless you see, like, Bitcoin or Ethereum end up taking, like, a fat dump, then there is really no reason that I could imagine that uh, Lunk, like, really, like, super dies. But, um, yeah, so you're kind of at a pivot moment. Ideally, you want to pivot back on up from here. Uh, you secure this higher low forming, and then we get, like, a really nice pump coming but otherwise, at least as of right now, the trend is definitely down. So uh, the next area that I'd really be looking at is between 407941 and 407592. Um, I know that's a bit of a larger range, but that's generally speaking like your demand area. So other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.